Hello, um, welcome back. So uh, for our closing ceremony for Innovate Heritage, we are very grateful for having um, two different musical performances. Um, in our online program, we were going to start with a performer from Azerbaijan, but we've actually decided to s s um, switch it, flip it. So um, actually first will be a bear ensemble um, with uh, artists from Iran, Taiwan, and Germany. I'll let them introduce themselves as the individual artists. And um, so please welcome them to the stage. After that, we will, yes, okay, please welcome them to the stage. Thank you.
thank you very much. So uh, we are also pleased to do a little presentation to this uh, very interesting conference. And uh, we are the trio Aber, which means cloud in Farsi. So uh, my expression of this would be a cloud um, between heaven and earth. We are somewhere um, having a music that comes from a tradition from Kurdistan where Puriya Soju was born in, an, in a city called Kermanshah in Iran, but in a cultural region of Kurdistan. So uh, this instrument called tambour and this music that is played on the tambour very traditionally is folk music coming from a sacred background. And um, we are bringing this tradition into a new context by um, joining a Western cello from Hui Chun Lin. She comes from Taiwan, has a classical education, and is very experienced in improvisation, in free improvisation. Me, myself, I'm a German player, but I'm interested in many world music traditions, so also the Iranian drums and the Iranian music. And we put together our joy of playing music together, and uh, especially here in this Kurdish tradition. So we have another two songs for you, and um, thanks for listening. Thank you very much.
thank you very much. This was for you on the tambour and singing for you. Puria Soju from Iran. And on cello and on the Erhu, the Chinese violin, and also singing Hu Tsun Lin from Taiwan. And I played for you. And I play for you the tombak and the duff. My name is Peter Kunsch and we are Abre. Thank you so much. Okay, that's too much. Let's see. Okay. So while we have your attention, you guys are still here. We're actually going to do the closing ceremony. Um, so it's the end. We have one more musical performance, which is very, very exciting. That's after this also. I heard them practicing. It's very good. So um, better listen to that. So. Um, as you know, I'm, my name is Elliot and Katerina. Yeah, and Katerina, who's quieter on the mic than me, but um, my my partner in crime with uh, Innovate Heritage, so an equal player. Um, so, uh, in closing, I just wanted to um, say some notes, and then we have some thank yous to make. So. Um, Innovate Heritage Conversations Between Arts and Heritage has been a privilege to work on and learn from. <laughs> There's some uh, small audience members here. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll start it over, sorry. Innovate Heritage Conversations Between Arts and Heritage has been a privilege to work on to learn from the stories and knowledge and vast, um, vastly rich cultures that have made up this first year's conference. With the support of HowlRound TV, a center for theater commons in Boston, we have been able to live stream the full program of this conference internationally. So the knowledge and stories um, shared here this weekend are um, accessible to many more people, as well as contributing to an online archive that we will hopefully con that will hopefully continue to grow. I am happy to report that we have had many views and clicks um, over the past three days, and I'm just going to read some numbers. Um, um, from the U.S., we had, uh, so just the U.S. is uh, 476, Germany 348, Spain 71, Singapore 50, U.K. 49, Italy 37, Egypt 20, France 19, Azerbaijan 11, Canada 11, Brazil 8, Russia 8, <coughs> Japan 7, Slovenia 6, India 6, Belgium 6, Montenegro 5, Lebanon 5, Netherlands 4, Chile 4, um, Austria 4, Iran 4, Australia 3, Argentina 2, Jordan 2, New Zealand 2, Switzerland 2, Denmark 2, Turkey 1, and Belarus 1. So I just want to say thank you very much to HowlRound who was able to make that possible. So. So um, this project would not have been possible without the wonderful con um, collaboration with my colleague Katerina Benincasa and the support and intellectual inspiration of the World Heritage Studies Program and everyone who took a step forward in supporting us, um, giving their time, submitting their proposals, paying their own travel to present and attend this event. Uh, Innovate Heritage is truly the result 
um, and a project or experience and network that is thanks to everyone who is here and to those who have contributed. So I just want to say thank you to everybody. It really belongs to everybody, so thank you. Um, and we are happy to confirm that this is only the beginning. <laughs> and of, of many more conversations we wish to engage. Uh, Innovate Heritage 2015, as well as research Katerina and I will be engaging in, as well as the publication for this year's conference published by Think Heritage, will hopefully contribute um, to advocate engaged discourse and creative exchange as the initiative evolves and organically is realized or realizes itself. Uh, thank you for participating as we in in um, Innovate Heritage. So. Okay. Um, we do partners first? Okay. So, um, we would just like to again thank our partners um, who, without this, it really wouldn't have been possible, um, especially the people who took a chance on younger um, people <laughs> with some ideas. Um, yeah, so uh, again, the German Commission for UNESCO, who um, uh, gave a tra travel grant to um, for Mohammed Ramadan, who was on the Syrian panel, and also for the, the keynote from Dr. Wolf. Um, the World Heritage Studies Program at BTU, uh, especially Britta Rudolph, our advisor, uh, Simona Karar for outreach, who's in uh, support from the as program coordinator, and uh, Professor Schuster for his great support as well for printing and resources. Um, the British Council for travel grants uh, for Rosanna Raymond, Tylem Kim, Nick Wilson, Daisy. Sutcliffe and Shaheen Morali, and uh, uh, especially Dr. Elka Ritt, who we met with and who was very supportive. Um, unfortunately, she wasn't able to be here, but um, yeah, her support was uh, meant a lot. Um, Zet Kau and the team at here um, for their generous support to this project as a sponsor. Um, and Oriental Heritage Without Borders, our horse, host organization, um, who gave us a lot of generous support, have been really, really supportive of this project, um, and for their curatorial collaborations. And the Azerbaijan Student Network, who are, um, supported the next performer you're gonna see, as well as um, uh, other generous support. Um, HowlRound TV in Boston, the US, um, especially to VJ, our technical support, who was amazing and um, yeah, really, really uh, helped us um, make realize that aspect of the conference. Polyhedra in Italy uh, for other support. EG Arts in Azerbaijan for um, support of the weavings and textile arts. Um, uh, Vivo Media Arts in Canada, who uh, gave us a discount on screening fees for the Spice Aquino film program, Northwest Folklife uh, for technical support, and Kultur Stiftung der Lande for an uh, endorsement. You want to do the committees? Yeah. yeah okay. Many thanks also to our committees, um, who all these, the following people believed in us right from the start. Our advisory board, uh, which, is com which comprises uh, Dr. Ritter Rudolph from BTU Cottbus, uh, Professor Wolfgang, Wolfgang Schuster, who was here, but ran away, uh, Professor Zaxon Meyer, also from BTU, and Simona Kadar. And uh, many thanks also to our honorary board, um, Dr. Ronan Benecher from the U UNESCO Commission here in Germany, um, Professor Hermann Partzinger, um, uh, who is the president of the Prussian Cultural Heritage Foundation, Professor Harold Bloom, who endorsed our project um, from the States, um, who is a literary critic and Sterling Professor of Humanities at Yale University, Christian Burroughs, who's a cultural entrepreneur and collector here in Berlin, and Isabel Pfeiffer-Punzgen, um, who's a secretary general of the Kulturstiftung der Länder. Um, thank you also to um, our scientific committee. Um, first off, I guess D Dr. Laura Jane Smith, um, who agreed immediately to um, adhere to, to this project. Um, Timothy Badman, from IUCN, Milika Illich from the from Balkan Express, and David Maisel, um, photographer and visual artist from the States. Oh. Ooh. 
Okay. So now, um, if people are available, um, we'd like to uh, acknowledge our volunteers and coordinators who have helped make this possible. Also, a special shout out to volunteers Christine and Andra, who uh, at the last moment basically hung the entire visual art show. Very impressive. <laughs> um, and. Um, uh, Shahul and Carl and Chelsea for their technical support, um, Katie and Olga for hospitality support, and Fabian and Elliot for um, technical support with the camera. And um, for the coordinators, well, we'll start off by saying a really big thank you to Anne O'Dowd. Yeah. Let's just say it. thank you to Anne. <laughs> yeah. Anne flew here after um, a lot of manipulation from me um, from Seattle, Washington to help run tech um, for the conference and give a presentation. So we're very indebted to her service. So um, Donna uh, Mack, who is in the back running the live stream right now, who has managed the website and done all the graphic design. She hand drew the tree on the logo. Very amazing work. Um, and Vusala, who has been running registration right there, <laughs> and has done amazing work around getting us partnerships um, in Azerbaijan, getting um, textile artists and musicians and great partnerships, and has done a great job. Anastasia. Um, who has been doing, um, who's in the back also right now, being actively maintaining our social media um, and who has managed press um, and does an amazing job long distance from, uh, from Amsterdam. Um, Kenny, who's operating camera and has done a really great job with a lot of helping with the conference and the development of the structure. Um, Anar, who did um, the open call that some of you submitted to, and uh, Courtney, who um, at the last moment jumped up and uh, helped us wrangle all the volunteers and organize everything. So I just want to thank them really quickly, all the coordinators. So thank you. <clears throat> and lastly, just a, a like a quick acknowledgement also of our partners from Oriental Heritage Without Borders, um, the great support of Damon, who has also been giving photo doing photography throughout the event and has been a really great organizational support, responded right away whenever we had emergency emails, very fabulous. Um, and Sapita, who uh, helped get um, both uh, Angelique and Tamam for the visual art exhibition from Syria and also curated and facilitated the Syrian art panel. Syrian Art and Heritage in Danger panel, and Soraya, the president of Oriental Heritage Without Borders, who um, has helped us a lot with figuring out all the logistics with financial stuff and just been very, very supportive, uh, provided guest housing, and also had recommended um, Naima, one of the artists from Iran, for the visual art exhibition. So I'm sure there's many more people to thank, but we <laughs> don't want to sit here all day. And um, we just want to thank everybody for participating. It's really been an honor to, um, to participate in this event with you. It's a bit surreal that it happened, and we're just excited to see where it goes next. So thank you very much. Thank you. So I guess we'll take um, just a moment to set up the next performer. And um, so we'll just maybe let you know when to come back. But don't, don't leave. They're really, really good, I promise. OK, thank you.